Hey, good morning. Happy Monday, April 15th. The month's half over. What's going on? Well, last week, UConn beat Purdue in the men's Final Four basketball. And I guess they did it soundly, so there's no question about who the real champion is there. Uh, in basketball also, Caitlin Clark is expected to join the WNBA as the number one pick in the WNBA in the draft. And she can make some place around 72 to $76 million. Million? Oh, no. $1,000. Ew, that's terrible when you consider that the number one pick in the NBA might be making as much as $9.2 million. I personally took this picture. Is that a UFO by the sun? And hey, how about that eclipse? Around here, eh, it kind of got a little darker. Maybe just like I put on some weak pair of sunglasses and all. Uh, temperature felt like it dropped a little bit. Other than that, it was kind of an exciting experience. My daughter is in uh, Columbus and it got pretty much pitch black where she's at. So anyway, hey, let's get to today's topic. So according to last week, we were gonna talk about getting to know each other. It's important for me to get to know you. You know, I wanna know what your expectations are in life. What's your plan for the next 12 months? two years, three years, five years, long term. Where are you in trying to figure this out? And that certainly can affect what I might make a recommendation for. You know, sometimes when we're talking, I can hear things like, well, my friend Betty says, and Joe over at the golf club says, that helps me to know because then it tells me what you're expecting out of maybe an insurance program. So, you know, sometimes the talk just isn't talk. And I'm gonna give you the best way I can give you an example. Uh, when I first got into the insurance business, I sat down with a couple. The husband wanted to have this life insurance program to secure the future for his family if something happened to him. And the wife in the conversation, she didn't really want to sit down at the table and talk and whatnot. She was milling about doing things. And then she comes up and she says, all I want to know is, do I get my Disney vacation that you've been promising me? And I looked at them and I said, as far as I'm concerned, she's absolutely going to get her Disney vacation. Knowing that was very helpful to me to make the appropriate recommendation. And if you're looking at this because you own a business, it's very helpful for me to sit down and to talk to you about what you expect out of your business and for the insurance that I might sell you. If it's health insurance, do your employees want this? Are they willing to contribute to part of the premium? Um, you know, this is all important. You can sit down as a small business and you know Harry intimately because you sit down with him at lunch every day. You know his wife and his kids or something else like that. You know, do they have insurance through another source? These are the things that come out in just general conversations of me getting to know you. So I always like the person who tells me, you know, I have to buy a new car every two years. Um, or how about this? You know, Johnny and Susie our cute little children are ready to go to college and my money's not going to be as much as it was before. Or is the insurance going to extend to them where they go to school? These are things that come out in the conversations that we have. Oh, look, little Susie just got her driver's license. Or we're worried about little Susie getting a driver's license. Or how are we going to afford college for our kids? How are we going to afford retirement? You know what? Um, we're about ready to have to take in the grandparents now because they can't live on their own. These are things that when we start dealing in getting to know each other become very, very valuable information to me. So here's the point in all this. When you're talking to a telemarketer and they're calling you or you're calling that 800 number, as I mentioned to you last week, a lot of these guys are unlicensed, uninsured, they're not registered, and they're offshore. Offshore, what does that mean? They're not in the United States. How can they get to know you? They can't. In fact, I was talking with one who called me and he told me he was in Pennsylvania. And uh, I asked him, well, what do you think about the Pirates playing the Philadelphia Flyers? Oh, I think it's going to be a great competition. <sighs> Hockey and baseball? Uh, uh. Does he live there? Does he live in the U.S.? Does he even know what it is? How can they get to know who you are and sell you the appropriate plan? That's why I'm telling you, call us down here. We'll work with you to see that you're buying what is in your best interest. 
Hey, Mark, what's going on at the MLD agency? Well, last week we worked with a couple of groups on their health insurance and working with their employees and a couple of people who are trying to transition from working to the retirement phase of their life. And uh, so we wish them good luck, don't we? Anyway, until next week, take care.